Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I am She Bang Beats. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and you might as well stay since you're already here. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my home studio setup. But first, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and turn on your post notification bell. It really helps the channel, and we're all growing together, and I love you for life. Let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, we have the Focus Bright Scarlet 2i2 interface and the Glyph Studio external hard drive. Focus right I love it. I've had it for a few years. It's never given me any trouble. Does exactly what I needed to do. Clean vocals, easy to use. And the Glyph is my at-home drive where I back everything up on. Make sure you're backing up your projects, please. Okay, on to the headphones. These are the Audio Technica M40Xs. I do have the 50s behind those in red if you're able to see them. I do mix in these sometimes, but I go to my Sennheisers more. But these do have a really good sound quality. And this is just my wireless mouse. It's sleek. I like it. It's clean and it's easy to use. Nothing fancy. And here's my keyboard that goes with the mouse. It's also wireless. And I like it because it's just clean looking and sleek. And it's cheap. It was like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. And here is my MIDI controller, which is an M Audio Key Station 49. I like it. It's a basic MIDI controller. I feel like everyone has this. But it gets the job done. Okay, here's one of my mics, which is the Audio Technica 2020. Um, this is also, I feel like, another staple that everyone has. This mic is okay. I don't particularly like it on my voice. It's okay. I will use it sometimes, but it's not like my go-to mic for my vocals. And this right mic right here is the Behringer B1. This is my preferred mic. I like this mic. It's inexpensive and it works for me. Remember, use what works for you. These right here are my JBL monitors. Um, I like these monitors that give me the sound that I need. I've kind of learned them already. I've had them for quite a while. So I kind of learned how they sound for me. And that's kind of how, you know, you should do with, with your monitors. Learn them. Get what works for you, you know. I know we all want this extremely expensive equipment, and it'll come. But get what works for you and learn your equipment. Next, we have the lifesavers of the studio. I cannot stress enough to back your stuff up. Back up your projects. Back them up, back them up, back them up. I just had a hard drive crash on me, and thank God that I had it backed up twice. One of them is an SSD, which is the Samsung, and then I have two passports, and then of course, or like earlier in the video, I have the Glyph. They're all a terabyte each. And they all come in handy. These I'll travel with. My Glyph stays at home. That doesn't move at all. Um, but please back up your files and your sessions. I cannot stress that enough. These are like the little lifesavers of your studio. Trust me. Back up your files. And this is my 32 inch TCL TV that I don't watch TV on. I actually just use it as a monitor. And here we have the meat and potatoes of the operation. It is my 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro. It has a terabyte of SSD storage. I, and it's in space gray, which is like the best colorway ever. I do like my computer. The only thing is I feel like with any Apple product, they don't give you enough for as much as they charge you for. And the only reason I have it switched over to PC is because Logic is an Apple product. Now, if Logic ever hit a PC, oh, I'm hitting a PC. But other than that, I like it. I can't complain. And here are just my batteries for like my lights and stuff that I use to light me when I'm filming these videos for you guys like subscribe comment and share and we all know a studio is not complete without led lights so those are the remotes for that and here are just like little things i like to keep around to you know set the mood gratitude always be thankful you know and here's some rose cords and amethyst 
and here's a book on just everyday positive thinking it every day it gives you a different quote in the book on things to think positive of which is amazing and then under that is my journal which is just make yourself proud and that's something that we should all practice making yourself proud and here i had to switch to the iphone um because i needed to film this which is the lumix g7 this is the camera that i use and then i have the two lenses a 25 millimeter and then the stock lens the 14 to 42 millimeter and here i have the uh, shelf behind my desk well i literally just bought this like two days ago don't judge me but that sign says make your dreams happen which is true we all are working towards our dream those two little green plants are from ikea they were like two dollars um that's pennington the panda and there's that mpk 225 that i think i mentioned earlier but i do have that i use that more so as a um a travel keyboard like when i'm going and i'm not gonna take that 49 key i'll take the take the 25 key um because it's more convenient there's another some more greenery some more crystals some more led lamps or lights and a little dream sign you know all things to keep the the mood right keep your mind right when you're making your music you know and of course we have like the little joby thing another light my macbook pro box just random stuff on that shelf you know it still sets the mood you know here is just my salt lamp you know get you one i also wanted to show you my um my gimbal which is a zion Weeble S. I, I used it in this video actually for some of the parts. I just got it not too long ago and I still haven't used it. Actually, you know, I had it for a few months. I probably used it like three or four times. Don't judge me. And this will conclude the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and turn on that post notification bell so we can grow together. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.